Hi, my name is Jonathan Hicks. I'm back at the Dice Cup, and today I'm joined by A Bomb D. And we've just finished playing Fresh Fish. I think is how that's translated. That's the, we've got the German copy. Uh, it's a game by Friedman Fries, hence all the Fs. And uh, essentially, you're trying to build market stalls like this fish stall here, as close as possible to the delivery trucks that at the start of the game are sort of seeded around in various places, like here. You've got four types of trucks around the edge of the board, and you've got four stalls. So it's green here. Uh, I'm try you're trying to get your fish stall here as close as possible and my cheese stall over there we're trying to get as close as possible to the cheese van how you play the game though at the start of the game there are lots of spaces you can't really see at the moment if I just remove a few of these you can see there are spaces all over the board and on your turn you either put one of these uh, discs down which kind of reserves a space or you draw a tile from one of these face down tiles if you draw one of the stalls like this then we have an auction you start off with a certain amount of money at the beginning of the game, and you auction this money. You can't get any more money through the game, though, so the money's very tight, you've got to be very careful with your money. But everyone just sort of picks how much money they want, stick out the fist and you reveal, and whoever puts the most money in wins the chance to build a market stall. But they have to build it where they've placed one of these reserve things. So you've got to be careful about where you place those. And then I could put my lollipop one on here, for instance. Uh, although, in this case, that would be terrible because the lollipop stand is actually all the way over here. So uh, you're trying to build them, kind of reserve places near the stand, and then win the auction and replace your guys near the stand. So you can see at the end of the game here, red managed to get a stand here, purple managed to get a stand here, etc. Uh, but the other thing you might draw is one of these, just kind of an empty plot, which is bad generally. If that happens, you still have to replace one of your discs. So if I had a disc here, then I'd be replacing this with this one, and you stick a little wooden, you can see there's various wooden bits all over the place. You just stick a plain wooden thing here, which doesn't belong to anybody. You may also notice there are some numbers here, when that many market stalls, whether it's the plain ones that don't belong to anyone or the proper ones, fill up this section, then the entire section is filled with roads, and ultimately you've got to be able to connect your fish stall or whatever it is to the truck by road. So figuring out where to place the stalls to get the roads in the right place is actually quite tricky. Again, if I just sort of clear off a bunch of these, you'll see they come in groups. So two stalls can go in here and then the rest get filled up with roads. Only one stall will go in this section and then it gets filled up with roads. So there's often tricky decisions about trying to decide where to place the kind of plain stalls, or where to place your reserve markers, and you can really do other people in by uh, wiping away the areas with roads. Because if someone else has got their disc there, if I have a disc here and somebody else, and a disc here. If one of us sticks one of the um, stalls on here, the other player's token is just wiped away and replaced with roads. So you've got to be quite careful about that. At the end of the game, you count the number of spaces from each of your stalls to the truck, and whoever has the fewest number of spaces wins. You also get to subtract money, and the lowest score wins. So you want to keep money if possible, but it is really tight. All right, what do you think? Uh, it looks like a really simple game. I thought, oh, this is almost like a kid's party game. Take it easy. He wasn't really listening to the rules that much. A bit half asleep. It's not. There's actually quite a bit of depth to this. Particularly working on um, when you realise that, yes, you can put a few of your tokens to reserve, which means you've definitely got it safe. Uh, you've got to watch what other people are doing. They might be looking to snipe, auction something, put roads in so they connect you up, and suddenly oh, you've got your piece back, and you realise the closer you can get is like eight or ten away. Um, there's quite a, a surprising amount of depth to it for when you look at the game. Um, I really enjoyed it. I wish I'd been a bit more awake at the start. <laughs> okay, Dean? I really like this game. This is a second edition of a, of a game and it's, it's fixed one of the problems with the other game, which actually you also get in the same box, which is keeping track of everything being connected. This sort of does it for you. Um, I really like it. it. It's one of those games where it can look like you're winning and all of a sudden you're last just because of something somebody else has done. It's, it's quite a, it, it's a fun game, um, as, as Avon says, it's got a lot more depth to it than it actually looks like it has. Okay, rating out of 10? I'd give it an eight. Wow, okay. Uh, I'd also give it an eight. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's, as they say, a lot heavier than it looks. And you've only got four market stalls, but you've got more of those discs for reserving spaces than just the four. I think you've got six. So those extra two discs, basically you're using it to screw people over. So it can be really mean. You know, you've got this extra, oh, where do I do this? Where's the best place where I can wipe off other people's discs? And at the start, you're like, oh yeah, I'll put a market stall here, I'll put a market stall here. You're kind of placing your discs out, imagining where your market stalls are going. 
by the time you got halfway through the game, all your plans have gone to pot because you got done in here and you got done in over there and you maybe got one market stall in. And you're like, oh my goodness, it's so far. What am I going to do? So uh, it was a little bit too tense for me. If you like that tension, it's great. Plenty to think about. But personally, I just it was a bit too mean. I think I'd be on a six and a half. All right, thanks for watching. That was Fresh Fish.